Hey YouTube, so today I'm going to be changing the spark plugs on this 2015 Chrysler 200. Um, it has the 2.4 liter four cylinder engine, uh, currently has 97,000 miles on it. Um, so it's well overdue for the spark plugs you need to be changed out. Uh, should be a pretty simple job, just wanna show the step for step on how to do it. So stay tuned. So here are all the tools you're gonna need for this job. I have the Iridium spark plugs. This is what Chrysler is gonna recommend. So four of those guys, Dielectric grease is gonna be used for the boots. Um, it's gonna protect it. And then we have some anti-seize lubricant grease that's gonna go on the threads right here. Just a regular medium-sized ratchet. Um, I have two extenders because it does go pretty deep for the actual spark plug to get it. So I'll show you that later. Uh, here's the actual spark plug grabber. And then 10 millimeter bolt is gonna be used for the battery terminal and to get the boots out. So I'll show you that later as well, so. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is just pop the hood latch. Okay, so to pop the hood, it's just this lever right here. Um, after you click that button, it's pretty simple. Um, we're gonna be disconnecting the negative terminal on the battery. So just gonna be a 10 millimeter. Um, and just gonna be pulling that guy off uh, just to make sure that's disconnected. All right, so next step, you're gonna to wanna to take off this panel right here, this plastic cover. So to do that, you just wanna take off oil cap, move that, and then this should just pop right off just like that so fairly simple and then as you can see that's where your spark plugs are going to be right there there's four of them so we're going to need to remove that guy to get to the fourth one okay so to pull this guy off there's a little metal bracket right here and you're going to want to just take it and you want to pull it off as you can see right there just need to get it off with that ring okay so to get this off you want to remove this part right here so you want to Grab it with one hand, push it down. And then releases off, okay? So push down, release off. That opens up. And then now this can come off. Once you have that off, now free to kind of move this around. Cut this guy up just by pulling this directly up. Um, it's a little mangled, but it'll still go back in fine. So now that we have this off, you can see all four of the spark plugs are exposed. Um, we're just gonna need to take out each one of these coils and uh, change out the plugs. Okay, so I'm just gonna spray some degreaser in here and then just start cleaning this up. Just kind of show you how it's how to do that. So as you can see, just by spraying just a little bit in here, things are really cleaning up already. Um, so just a little bit of that. And then we're gonna take our rag and we're just gonna start cleaning up all this grime in here. Um, everything's exposed right now, so this is a good time to get all of this up. Um, make it look nice see all that down there so okay so as you can see a lot cleaner um, didn't do anything crazy maybe just like five minutes of wiping it down uh, I'm gonna remove these guys right here so that I can get in there and clean all that up but um, next step is to remove these it's gonna be a 10 millimeter right here um, just a red clip pull those guys out pretty simple that pulls out and then it just disconnects like that. So do that for all four. Um, I'll show you first just to take this one off, um, how to do that, and then we'll take out the plug and ratchet. Um, I'm just gonna use the extender, it makes it easier. So just throw that guy on there, start breaking that loose. Super simple. Take that out. So, at this point, just get it with my finger. So, there's your screw right there. So, just one of those, and then this guy comes free. Give that a nice little tug, pops out. So, um, that's where we're gonna put the dielectric grease, uh, just to help uh, maintain these. And then your spark plug is right in there. So, let's grab these guys out. Okay, so I have my ratchet, I got two extenders, and the spark plug puller. So we're gonna take out this first spark plug and show you how to do that. So push it there to take it out. So it goes all the way in. 
plus we can grab so I removed the oil cap just to get more clearance so I can get a full turn in there. Um, finally, I think we got him. So out comes club number one. As you can see, pretty roached. Um, like I said, this car has almost 100,000 miles, so very necessary to get this done um, right now. <laughs> okay, so here's the old spark plug compared to the new spark plug, just to kind of show you the, the wear and tear that these guys get over the course of uh, 100,000 miles. Um, as you can see, like brand new versus completely shot. Um, so really important to make sure you guys tune up your car and uh, get the spark plugs changed out every 50 to 100,000 miles. Um, otherwise the cars might misfire and have some issues. Okay, so once you have the new plug greased up, ready to go, we're gonna be putting that back in. So we're gonna change that back over. I'm gonna stick this guy right back into its slot. And then just start to work it in from there and just start tightening it up. Okay, so now we have the new spark plug in for the first cylinder. Um, we've got three more to go. I'm going to clean up this area as we go too. Okay, so I'm working this out right now. Um, if you have an extra extension, it's going to be a lot easier uh, just because you don't have a lot of room to work. Doesn't mean it's not impossible. Uh, it's just gonna be a lot easier if you have the extra extension. Okay, so got the second one out. Again, pretty roached. So I got plug number three coming out now. So one thing you wanna note is if you get it loose um, and you have the two sockets instead of three, which would be a lot easier, um, you can just undo it with your hands once you get it loose. Um, and then just pull this guy out. Three. So got the four new spark plugs put in, time to put in the boots. So he's just slot right back in, just pop right in, and then just reconnect, reconnect that, do that for all four, and we should be good to go. So once you have all the plugs in and the boots back on, all strapped down, it's time to put this guy back on. So what we're gonna do is line it up right there. Stick this back in the hole, so just line that up, and then just on she goes. Perfect. So now we are all good to go on the plugs. Um, time to just put the cover back on. Okay, so since this cover is pretty dirty, I'm gonna just clean it up a little bit, just some of the degreaser and then just wipe it down. It's gonna look a lot better. This is all cleaned up to get this back on. Just gonna take the gas cap off and then put it on these little balls um, into the little holes. Okay, final step is just to reconnect the battery and then we're gonna give it a test. Okay, let's see how she runs. Perfect. Yeah, it looks like she's running good, so. That's how you change the spark plugs on a 2015 Chrysler 200 
uh, with a 2.4 liter four-cylinder engine. Uh, be sure to like, uh, subscribe, and comment. Um, this is my first video on YouTube, so if you guys liked it and want me to kind of upload more products that I work on, uh, I'd love the, the feedback, so appreciate it.